hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial on clo 3d and in this tutorial i'm going to be explaining how you can convert your graphics into these two um, images you can see on your screen right now but before we continue don't forget to click on subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos so um, i'm going to be using this um od as the um tutorial so um, the first thing i'll do is to remove the link um uh, editing on this so let me select this um right click and remove link and it's editing so that we can avoid error with the internal line so um next thing i'm going to do is to select the graphic um tool so i can add graphics to this so i'm going to select this and select this yes and i'm going to place it here so what i'll be doing next is only available on the latest version of clo which is clo 3d 2024 so uh, let me select okay with that so um, I'm going to also select this again. Make sure you are selecting on this um, transform graphics icon. So select the graphics, right click, and the next thing is trace as internal shape. Yeah, so there should be lines around this. Then the next thing you can do is just delete the graphics. You can see we have the line there. So select A. When you select A, you can select the line yeah so the next thing we can do is to cut and sew or uh i think before we cut and sew let me comment so we can also trace as uh, clone as pattern so when you right click select clone as pattern and you can just drag this out mm -hmm. and we can just sew it Or I could even do another method again. Let me see this. I don't know. I'm just exploring this tutorial. So, um, so let me select this. Uh, cut and sew. Yes, select this. Let me see. It's going to work. Layer clone over. Yes. So I'm going to do that. You can see. Yeah. So and let's select space bar to simulate. So you can see this and the um, clothes is looking, um, the graphics is looking embossed. So the next thing you can just do is to select this, select the neat stereo or the fabric you are using, sorry. Then you can just um, copy it, copy. Let me stop the simulation. Just yes, copy, select the second one or uh, select this, select the graphics that you, um, you the new clone or the new um, pattern, sorry, um, and select this so we can always change the color let me start by the saturation um uh, let me take the saturation yes select it turn it on turn the saturation on and um, you can change the color to anything you want let's see red okay so yeah so apply and close i can see it you have something like this here so you can also do this for your um graphics so this is just the first um idea so i'll be explaining the second idea now so in the second graphic idea you can use on your clue design first you also need to add your graphics you get on your pattern yeah so the second thing we will need to do is to um let's trace it again so we are going to sorry we are going to select the transform graphic to select the graphic then you are going to right click and select trace as internal shape good so um we might just need to delete the graphic so select the graphic and delete it since we already have this shaped line so change your tool to the edit line or select tool so let me select um, a on my keyboard then select ctrl a to select all the pattern then um i'm going to right click and i'm going to select layer um clone under so i'm going to do this and i'll place this up so after that i'm going to simulate okay so let me stop the simulation so um the next thing i think i'll need to check is to find out if um is to change this to tick and um, sorry thing so i'll know yeah so okay uh, this is fine 
we have to make sure that this um black this inside is actually inside not um the other way around because when i flip normal the uh, I'm, I'm sure you get what i'm trying to say when i flip the normal the inside or the outside becomes the inside you get so um let me go back to tick yeah so i have to be sure of that so uh the next thing i'll do is to select this line so i'm going to select z z is to select line or this line or let me use a instead so it selects everything properly so select this so when i select this the next thing i'll do is to cut it so i'm going to cut it then i'm going to delete it i don't need it so so uh let me simulate so there will be a changes here probably it's going to separate here so you can see this opening or this place here so we are going to stitch this together so let me stop the simulation um select m on my keyboard for free sewing m is for free sewing i'm coming m m for free sewing and select this the dots are too much then we're going to move to the line we want to show uh where is this where are you so same thing scroll and do this then we're going to simulate it so let's simulate So now that we are done um, simulating, uh, I'm going to turn off simulation. So let me change it to Q. So I think we should have this. You can see this. So you can see this thickness here. So um, what we'll do now is to select this. Then we're going to create a copy. So um, select this pattern. Or let me just explain better. So let me scroll. Just select only this pattern and then add this um need terry copy one to it so just select this it has automatically um changed the texture or the fabric so what we just need to do is um make sure you're selecting this still so um scroll up yes we're going to turn on the saturation yes that's the first thing and um the next thing we can do is to change color to red or any color you want any color it doesn't have to be red just explore yeah so apply and close and you can see this you can see this so with that you can create something with your graphic with this um idea or you can convert your graphic into this um pattern idea on your design depending on what you want to use it for so um thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to click on the subscribe button to get more 3d ideas or tutorial from timidy creator